Hi my dear doctors, today we are going to discuss about another topic from the Backman's and Ling Gynecology book. Today we will discuss uh, about the external cephalic version. So what this book say about that? So here they wrote that the external cephalic version involves applying pressure to the mother's septomen to turn the fetus in either a forward or the backward somersaults to achieve a vertex presentation prior to labor. So it is a type of a procedure in which we put pressure on the mother form, okay, mother abdomen, in order to convert the breech position of the fetus into the vertex position. The goal of the external cephalic version is to increase the proportion of the vertex presentation among the fetuses that were formerly in the breech position near the term. So this is clear. Once a vertex presentation is achieved, the chances for the vaginal delivery increases. So it is a condition in which the positions of the baby is changing okay, by putting external pressure. So it will helpful in the vaginal normal delivery. The maneuver is successful in approximately half of the properly selected cases. Patients who have completed 36 weeks of gestation or perform preferred candidate for the external cephalic version for several reasons. First, what are the reasons which uh, will be helpful uh, in doing the external cephalic version? The first that if the spontaneous version is going to help, okay, if the vert breech position is converting uh, slowly into the vertex position by its own, so we can facilitate externally by doing the external cephalic version. Okay, normally it happens in the 36 week of gestation. Second, the risk of the spontaneous uh, reversion is decreases after the uh, external cephalic version at term compared with the early gestation. So what are the selection criteria? How we can say that and how we can perform uh, this procedure? So there are some criteria we take into considerations of all those points and uh, after that we need to do this uh, procedure. If any of the problem that is uh, away from the selection criteria, in that condition uh, it will be dangerous and it should not be to the external cephalic version. So what are the selection criteria? The selection criteria including a normal fetus with a uh, reassuring fetal heart tracing so during when we perform this position this this procedure okay we need to know and we need to uh, okay uh, record the fetal heart okay, during this procedure so there should be uh, no deceleration so adequate amniotic fluid we should check the amniotic fluid because maybe there is a rupture of the membrane okay the presenting part not have descended into the birth canal the presenting part the breech in this in breech position the uh, lower part of the fetus the caudal part that should not be present into the birth canal if it is fixed into the birth canal then it will be difficult to rotate the baby and the presence of the malarian uh, duct anomalies so there should be no malarian duct anomaly, uh, anomalies uh, and the placenta abruptio the placenta should not be abrupt or detached from the wall of the uh, uterus or the placenta priva or the placenta should not be present just above the internal os of the cervix so all these criteria should be fulfilled in order to if you want to do the external cephalic version the risk including the what are the risk factors uh, in doing this uh, phenomena okay and the risk including the premature rupture of membrane it may be by doing this procedure okay if we are, we are going to perform this procedure there may be a rupture of the amniotic membrane the pleasant uh, okay pleasant uh, abrupt show maybe if uh, we uh, do improperly of if you do more pressure on the side and if uh, the uh, procedure is not according to the measurements then may, there is a chance of the detachment of the placenta from the wall of the uterus cord accident maybe the cord rupture or cord compression in the uterine rupture external version is uh, more often successful in the porous woman if the woman is already have some babies then it will be easy for that uh, existing evidence may support the use of the tocolytic agents so what are the tocolytic agents the tocolytic agents are uh, uh, some uh, drugs uh, which uh, stop the uterine contraction so it will when the uterus become smooth it will be easy for us to rotate the fetus so during external cephalic version attempts particularly in the nulliporous patients 
administration of the NTD immunoglobulin to RH negative woman is recommended. So this is what we have the external cephalic version procedure. So here we can easily see that in the first diagram the one hand that is the lower hand putting pressure and it is pushing the baby on the right side while the upper hand it is pulling the head of the fetus toward the left side now fetus is in transverse position okay and in the third one that is a successful external cephalic version in which the fetal head now downward and the caudal part is, is upward that is called as the white exposition so it helps in the normal delivery so i hope you understand all about this